Well, a parent can help a child who's being harassed by, first of all, being aware of what's going on. And with young children, often you just need to really observe their behavior. Are they more isolative? Are they more tearful? Are they clearly upset? And you know, start that dialogue and communication by asking what's going on. Um, also, just being aware of what they're doing. And you know, we have a computer right in the middle of the family room often stop and check and see who's on and who they're talking to. Um, but if, if a child's being harassed, um, you want to communicate. You don't want to have a lot of emotion, scare the child by being really angry or really tearful. You just want to be calm, understand exactly what is going on, and then ask the child questions. Why, you know, has this been a fight that's been going on? Um, why do you think this person did this? Um, have you said anything back? And just kind of get the child's ideas of, of what is going on. Also, ask them what they think that should be done. Um, if it's their idea, they're much um, more likely to follow through. So, you know, elicit their ideas and their problem solving skills. Um, after um, you kind of get an understanding of what's going on, then I would kind of educate them about um, how hurtful and harmful this can be and the need to tell authorities and to you know enlist others help um, ask them if they have um, seen this happen to other kids and what happens so mostly you want to communicate talk to them find out what they're thinking how they're feeling about it um, and help them develop a strategy to deal with it